We're wrapping up the coaches meetings here in Phoenix, Arizona, and we're talking with Commissioner Bob Bowlesby. Bob, the uh, last meeting just broke up and you guys did come to a decision about the tiebreaker. Uh, tell us what that is right now. Well, first and foremost, it's the head-to-head -head competition. Uh, that's uh, that's a relatively easy one. But there are a number of tie situations, um, not that you think are going to happen, but as soon as you don't have a contingency plan, they will. And so uh, that mainly deals with three-way ties. But to some extent, it also is a matter of breaking ties down in the ranks. Uh, so we uh, developed a system that uh, adequately breaks that tie. Uh, it will designate our champion, and in the case of uh, us moving a team up into the uh, the football playoff, it will also help us to designate our representative to the uh, Sugar Bowl in the years that Sugar Bowl is not a semifinal. So it's a good step forward for us, and uh, and we think that uh, it's the right thing to do for our conference at this present time. The college football playoff, there's a lot of discussion about uh, the Big 12 obviously not getting a team in last year and whether having or not having a championship game is a big deal and obviously nothing can happen until 2016 when the NCAA might deregulate things. Uh, but you guys, I guess, discussed that pretty much going to be status quo for now and kind of tap the brakes on a championship game. Is that bottom line? Well, I, you know, I don't even know that we uh, have our foot on the gas on the championship game because I, I think uh, until the rules are changed to accommodate it, it really doesn't make any sense for us to go forward and do anything that uh, might be rendered moot at some point in time. And so uh, we'll continue to advocate for the change uh, and the deregulation in the postseason requirements. And uh, it, assuming that that gets uh, accomplished, uh, we'll talk about our options at a future meeting. And basically the other thing is a uh, small sample size, but just last year there's really no reason to, to jump off the cliff, so to speak, and make a decision on a championship game in any way, shape, or form, right? I, I think that's accurate, and, and I've really been proud of our athletic directors and our football coaches. They they have been responsive, but they haven't been reactive, and they've uh, they've spent a lot of good time uh, thinking about the issues, and, and they know that one year doesn't make a trend, and so um, I, I think we have to proceed with caution because we may find that our method uh, we're, is the best one, and, and we're the only one uh, playing a full round robin. Nobody else can claim to play everybody. And I think in the end, that's uh, going to give us great stability from a strength of schedule standpoint. That's Big 12 Commissioner Bob Bowlesby wrapping things up here at the coaches' meetings in Phoenix for the Big 12 Digital Network. I'm Wendell Barnhouse.